Welcome friends, in this video let's discuss about the convention on biological diversity. So this is the most important convention for the production of biodiversity throughout the world. This convention on Bi biological diversity was opened for signing during Rio Earth Summit, that is the United Nations Conference on Environment and Development. So this UNCED, that is the Rio Earth Summit, opened for signing the three important conventions called Rio Convention, that is the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change and Convention on Biological Diversity and Con United Nations Convention to Combat Desertification. So among these three conventions that was opened for signing during Rio Earth Summit, see, this Convention on Biological Diversity is one of these. Okay? And under this Convention on Biological Diversity, we have two important protocols, that is the Cartagena Protocol on Biosafety and Nagayo Protocol on Access to Genetic Resources and Benefit Sharing and one target, that is the IG target to reduce the threats to biodiversity. Okay? So these three are the sister protocols which born out of Convention on Biological Diversity. So let's look at in detail about this. The Convention on Biological Diversity is a legally binding convention. It is a legally binding, not voluntary, okay? Legally binding convention recognized for the first time that the conservation of biological diversity is a common concern of humankind and is an integral part of development process. So, for the first time, the conservation of biodiversity is a common concern, concern of the humankind, okay? It was decided in this convention and this Conservation of biodiversity is an integral part of development process. In the, in the process of development of a country, the conservation of biological diversity should also be taken into account. So this is the main theme of this CBD. Okay? The agreement covers not only the major plants and animals, it covers all the species, even the smallest of the small species like bacteria and fungi, and all the ecosystem, all genetic resources. So this is the main, main importance of this convention. And the convention has three important goals. This include conservation of biological diversity and sustainable use of components of biological diversity. So biodiversity has various products uh, which are useful for the humankind. So sustainable use of these components of biodiversity is the main goal of CBD. And third goal is sharing of benefits arising from the commercial and other utilization of genetic resources in a fair and equitable manner. So benefit sharing with the local communities or with the, with the local governments is the main aim of this convention of biological diversity. And the major issues that are discussed and decided under this convention includes that the biodiversity is the common concern of humankind as discussed in the goal. Okay, It is the common concern of the all the human can not only a section of a country or not only a part of the world okay and the countries have the sovereign right over their biological diversity they have the right over the biodiversity that are present within their territories so they have the right to conserve the same okay they have the obligation to conserve the same and the states are required to create national biodiversity strategies and action plans for the conservation of biodiversity so this is the binding obligation uh, for the member countries okay and the measures and, and incentives for the conservation and sustainable use of biodiversity are also covered under this convention and this convention also provides for regulated access to genetic resources and traditional knowledge including prior informed consent of the party providing resources so here uh, why the so someone has to uh, get the genetic resource benefit of genetic resources because the biodiversity has various products. This include uh, which are useful for mankind. Okay. Uh, for example, in, in a forest we have various genetic resources including the wild plants. Okay, wild plants. These wild plants include the the counterparts of our the present day crops, including wheat, rice, barley. Okay, and these wild varieties are growing in the forest. I am giving you here an example. These wild varieties are growing in the forest. And these varieties may have various important char characteristics, okay? This includes resistance to drought, that is water scarcity, resistance to certain pests and diseases, okay? So, these characters can be included in the breeding, pro breeding mechanism for, 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 for designing uh, better crops, okay? So, various multinational companies like, like large seed, seed corporations need these genetic materials for developing 
uh, the the seeds seeds of the important crops. So they need to assess the genetic resources. For that, they need the permission from the local government. So here, the Convention on Biological Diversity come into picture. Uh, it provides regulated access to genetic resources and traditional knowledge. Okay. So if India has this genetic resource, if United Nations uh, sorry United States MNC wants to assess this genetic resource, then it has to provide royalty uh, to the local government or local body uh, in order to assess to this genetic resource. So this is the gist of assess and benefit sharing. Okay, and other include the sharing in a fair and equitable way the result of research and development and the benefit arising from commercial and other utilization of genetic resources. So as I discussed earlier, so if this MNC uh, produces an, an important very high yielding variety by utilizing the genetic resources present in the forest, then this MNC has to provide the equal benefit to the local community, community as well as this country because it utilizes the genetic resources of these countries. So sharing in fair and equitable way the result of research and development has to be uh, take, has to be given. Okay, So this is the gist of this. And access to technology, access to transfer of technology including biotechnology to the governments and our local communities that provide traditional knowledge and biodiversity resources. So if uh, if, if a technology is developed, developed by using the local resources, that is the local uh, genetic resources or biodiversity resources that has to be provided to the local government as well by these MNCs or other agencies. So this is the gist of this. And the technical and scientific cooperation is also uh, envisaged under this convention and coordination of a global directory of taxonomic expertise. Okay, And various uh, different classification of plants and animals uh, should be made in order to utilize this uh, for the betterment of the humankind and impact assessment, education and public awareness and provision of financial resources from the developed countries to the developing countries for the management of biodiversity in a sustainable way. So these are all the important things that are covered under convention. Please remember some of the points uh, in this for, from the view of examination. So this convention is managed okay, through conference of parties. So member countries uh, represent their own countries through through representatives and these representatives meet together uh, in a forum called conference of parties. So these conference of parties take important decisions uh, regarding the governance, um, development and also implementation of the provision of under the convention. So uh, all in all 195 countries along with European Union countries are parties to the convention. So these are the members, 195 countries are the members to the convention, but with the exception of the United States. So United States has not ratified convention on biological diversity. This is the only major country that is outside the convention on biological diversity. So this is important. And let's look at the meeting of the parties to the convention. So the conference of parties, the first met uh, in 1994 at Nassau in Bahamas, the COP first, okay, and in 2000, we, uh, the conference of parties met at Cartagena, so under this conference, Cartagena protocol on biosafety was, uh, was agreed, okay, so we know that the convention is a forum for meeting various countries to decide on a particular is issue, here the convention on biological diversity, and to implement the, uh, to implement the objectives and decisions of this convention, uh, the conference of parties uh, will decide uh, for a particular protocol. Okay, this protocol will lay down detailed, detailed decisions, pro procedures, and other institutional mechanism that must be followed by the countries to to bring uh, bring bring the reality of the uh, convention. So this is the difference between convention and protocol. So in 2000, in 2000, the Cartagena protocol by biosafety was agreed by the conference of parties to to preserve the biodiversity that is the main aim of the uh, convention on biological diversity and in conference of party in the 10th conference of party in 2010 nagayo protocol that is in nagayo okay nagayo protocol on access to biodiversity and benefit sharing uh, was decided and ig biodiversity target was fixed for reducing threats to biodiversity so this cop 10 is important from uh, from the point of view of examination and in conference of party 11 that ha that uh, occurred in hyderabad okay in 2012 
and in 2014 COP12 uh, was met in Pyongyang in Republic of South Korea okay and 2016 conference of party 13 conference of parties will be held in Las Cabos Baja California South in Mexico so next will be Mexico so this is uh, about uh, the convention on biological diversity uh, broadly this biodiversity led to uh, convention led to two important uh, protocol that is the Cartagena protocol on biosafety and Nagoya protocol on assisted genetic resources and uh, benefit sharing and IG biodiversity targets this is important here and this let's look at so the conference of parties 11th conference of party uh, that uh, that occurred in Hyderabad so in this conference India uh, committed uh, to uh, sorry in this conference the countries committed to double the international financial flows for biodiversity by 2015 okay and india undertake a pledge called hyderabad pledge under which india is setting aside us 50 million dollar to strengthen the institutional mechanism for biodiversity conservation in the country and india took charge of the presidency of Bi convention of biodiversity from japan and this is the thing about uh, hyderabad convention so thank you thanks for watching uh, this uh, in my coming videos let's discuss about cartagena protocol on biosafety that is the protocol under convention on biological diversity and uh, nagayo protocol for access to genetic resources and benefit sharing that is also another protocol under convention and ig biodiversity targets these three are covered under different videos uh, to bring comprehensiveness in the matter thank you